A multi-project environment is a component of RealSoft project. In RealSoft project, you can manage selected projects that access the same resource pool within a project portfolio. To create a new portfolio, click on File New Portfolio. In the Project Selection for Portfolio dialog window, select the projects for the new portfolio. By clicking the Add Folder button, you can list all projects in a directory. This message only appears if some projects have discrepancies between the resources stored in the projects and those registered in the resource pool. Automatically marked projects can be added to the portfolio as they work with the common resource pool. Projects with a yellow background and the word automatically in the column to resource pool will be automatically adjusted to the resource pool when the portfolio is opened. These differences typically include new non-working days or cost changes. Projects with a red background and the word manual have significant resource differences compared to the resource pool. These must first be opened separately and adjusted using Project Project Resources Resource Pool. For example, we can only add the project production to the portfolio after this adjustment. Using the Add Project button, we add another project to the list, such as the Project 07 Multi Project 1 from another directory. You can remove individual projects from the list by unchecking them. The projects in the list can be sorted by various parameters such as project name, customers, categories, status, start date, etc. The specified order is adopted in the project portfolio. We then save the portfolio under the name Portfolio 1. In the Gantt chart, we can expand and collapse individual projects or use start outline show details and hide details. All activities can be performed in the portfolio as in a regular project, i.e. we can create tasks, assign resources, adjust workflows, or save results. In our example portfolio, the roles have already been assigned to the tasks. The roles view in the resources section shows which roles are planned in projects, the workload over time. We switch to the capacity view for employee to check resource utilization across projects. The capacity balancing view provides a dynamic evaluation of the personnel demand coverage and shows potential bottlenecks due to a lack of resources or free capacities. Shortfalls due to insufficient personnel capacities are calculated accurately and quickly identified by a red highlight. In our example portfolio, we have the following coverage conflicts. For the role designer mechanic, we are short by eight person hours on May 23rd. We need 16 person hours, but only eight can be covered by qualified personnel. For the role installer mechanic, we are short by 16 person hours on July 1st and July 2nd due to a lack of personnel resources. For the role software developer, we are short by 32 person hours from May 29th to May 31st. First, we address the shortfall for the role installer mechanic. We check which tasks and projects have the shortfall. If task bars are not activated, we enable them via Capacity View Employee Format Show Activity Chart. We change the workload display to Start Outline Structure Role Project Employee. Then we click the plus sign next to Installer Mechanic to see the details. There is a shortfall in the project East for the task installation mechanics. We need two people, but only have two employees available as Installer Mechanic. However, Mr. White is only 50% available due to non-working days on July 1st and July 2nd. We can ignore this 50% availability and assign both employees to the task, resulting in a two-day shift in the task start and end dates due to capacity-oriented planning for Project East. We undo the resource assignment. For situations where multiple employees have the same qualification and one is unavailable, RealSoft Project offers the option Allocate Resources Dynamically. We enable this option, assign Mr. White and Mr. Tidy to the task, and thanks to dynamic effort distribution, the task is completed one day later. We return to the capacity view, switching back to the structure role employee and address the shortfall for the role designer mechanic. We can start the task construction mechanics on May 24th, as we have an appropriate time slot. The last shortfall for the role software developer affects two projects, as indicated by the numbering. We move the task software from the first project by three days and start the task analysis 
from the second project on June 17th after construction software and software. Once the shortfalls are resolved, we assign employees to the tasks. The manual resource assignment is explained in the video 04, Staff Scheduling. RealSoft Project also offers partially automatic employee assignments. We select Project Assistant Employee Assign the employees to activities. In the first step, a dialog window appears listing all employees with their attributes, including roles. We can select individual employees or all, e.g., we mark Mr. Blackman and click Next. In the second step, where all tasks from the portfolio are displayed, we click Select All and Next. In the third step, RealSoft Project only shows tasks suitable for Mr. Blackman as an installer electrical. The program also informs us of Mr. Blackman availability for the listed tasks. We click on Automatically Assign Employees. Not all tasks are marked because RealSoft only offers automatic assignments for tasks without time conflicts or shortfalls. After clicking Finish, we can see which tasks Mr. Blackman has been assigned to. We switch to the Resource View employee and continue with Automatic Personnel Assignment. Project Assistant Employee Assign the Employees to Activities. We click Select All for Personnel and then Next. Again, click Select All Four Tasks and Next. We then automatically assign personnel and confirm by clicking Finish. We can structure the displayed personnel workload by various criteria, such as role employee using start outline structure. In the Gantt chart, we use the Balance Employee column to check if the planned resource requirements are met with the assigned personnel resources. In this video, we have learned how to capture, display, and analyze multiple projects and how to allocate company resources across projects in RealSoft Project.